it's Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Today, in honor of the soon approaching Father's Day, I thought I'd bring you another best and worst video. I did this last year, best and worst fiction moms, and you guys really seem to like it. So I thought this year I'd bring you a best and worst fiction dads. I'm going to bring you three from each category. I could choose a whole lot more, and I'm sure there are some better and worse fiction dads than the one that I'm picking, but these are the ones that jumped out for me, and to keep this concise, I'm just going to pick three from each category. As I was preparing for this video, I realized that I can't talk about these dads a whole lot, especially the ones that are on my worst list, because a lot of what they do is more spoilery and further on into the book. So I'm just going to talk on the, about them briefly. They are in no particular order, and let's start off with the worst dads. First up, we've got Prospero the Enchanter from the Night Circus. This guy, he's he's a doozy. Prospero is a magician that is always involved in this competition between another magician to see who can produce the best protege. And these competitions are fight to the death, more or less. And when he discovers he has a daughter, he enters his daughter into this competition. And I think that that is just not cool. You don't enter your kid into a competition to the death. But not only that, he's sort of very arrogant and self self-serving and just kind of not a nice person to his daughter uh, so I think she would have done better without him. He did train her to be a pretty good magician so I guess there's sort of a bonus but you know no. Next up on my worst dad's list we have Governor Dragana from the Caraval series. He is the father of Scarlet and Tella who are our main characters in the Caraval series. If you have not heard of the Caraval series I've got a review for it down below you can go check that out. This book has trigger warnings for emotional and physical abuse. I would say it's because of this particular father, but he is not nice. We start off the story with him setting up this arranged marriage for his daughter, Scarlet, and you see very quickly that his daughters are afraid of him and he does physically harm one of his daughters and emotionally manipulate the other one in a very, very bad way. So he is on my worst dad poop list. And the last father on my worst list is probably the worst one of them all, and that is Maddox from Cruel Prince. This father-daughter relationship, besides being absurdly awful, is also a little bit complicated. Although, what awful relationships aren't complicated? Cruel Prince is told in the perspective of Jude, and Jude has two sisters, and she lives with her parents until one day this fairy guy comes along and murders her parents and says that her oldest sister is indeed her daughter and she is half a. So she gets taken away to a fairy and is raised by Marek as her father. And this one talks about a lot about Jude's sort of complicated relationship with her because she hates him because she murdered his parents but he raised her so she's more he's more or less the father figure in her life that she's known the best. So I had a lot of worse fathers on this list but this guy he takes the cake. Oddly and complicatedly enough he does love these girls when he after he adopts them and tries to take care of them and things go down later on in the story that make it even more complicated but come on guys Anybody that kills a girl's parents and says, oh, by the way, I'm your dad, is kind of an awful father and should not be. Moving away from the worst dads and let's go into the best dads. First up, we have the obvious, Arthur Weasley. Arthur Weasley is the sweetest dad. He's sort of a bumbling idiot sometimes. He's a little bit awkward, maybe a little bit embarrassing to his kids every now and then, but what dad isn't? And he loves his family wholeheartedly. I love Arthur Weasley. He probably is the favorite of the dads that I'm going to talk to you today about. Next up, we've got from the Illuminae Files, Isaac Grant. I really liked Isaac Grant. We didn't see a whole lot of him in the first book. We saw him mostly in the second and the third book. And he really fought for his kid. He more or less came really close to death a couple of times. But he really wanted to see his daughter again. He didn't want her to be alone after everything that has happened. And he worked real hard to save the universe. So go Isaac Grant. Next up is an ode to dads that have passed away. A lot of us have lost our dads and so this one is especially for them when we're remembering our dads and this father's day. They can be sort of a hard time but it's important to remember the place that they had in our lives and so for this one I picked Alex and Connor's dad from the land of stories. This is the second book. The first one is currently being read by someone. Alex and Connor's dad passed away a year ago but he has imparted them with some great stories and some great life lessons that Alex and Connor are now unpacking as they're getting older and they're realizing the stories that their dad told them and what they actually mean and how they impact their lives as they sort of branch out of childhood and head into puberty and teenage years and I think that he did a great
great job with his kids. You can really see how his stories and his life lessons have impacted his kids. This dad just gave me all the warms and fuzzies and made me feel like they had a really awesome dad. That wraps it up for this quick little Father's Day video. Let me know down below what is the worst and the best fiction dad that you have read recently. I'd love to know. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.